that your sincerity with Allah pushes you towards seeking a higher purpose with Allah than simply relegating yourself to fear and censor from others in society. I welcome you to take this journey with me in discovering more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will grow in our love, our fear of Allah, and our eternal hope in His mercy subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us begin this journey of me, myself, and Allah. It's pretexted on our relationship growing from knowledge to certainty, to acceptance, to submission, to truthfulness with Allah, that that finally leads us to a place of sincerity. Because to be a person who has ikhlas, it means that I'm willing to free from my heart everything and all things other than Allah, that I've given up hope in other than Allah, that I don't put my trust in other than Allah, that I don't have an ultimate complete love with anyone but Allah, that I remove from my desire everything that is displeasing to Allah for and solely because of my relationship with Allah. Ikhlas is a demonstrable act of worship and it is something that is conditional for any act of worship to be accepted. The two main conditions of our worship of course is that it's sincere to Allah seeking out only Allah as being the driving force of why we're doing that act of ibadah and number two that it conforms and conforms to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. That's how important sincerity is. Have you ever had one of your friends, it could be you know one of your Arabic friends, that they get so upset and they just say khalas. I've had enough. Well, that's really the relationship. Khalas is like ikhlas. I've had enough of putting my trust in anything other than Allah. I've had enough of relying on anyone other than Allah. I've had enough of fearing anything other than Allah. I'm going to turn my focus to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that which is an, a, a regimented act of worship such as prayer and fasting and so on. But it's also in the act of worship of life, in being a good husband, in being a good employee and employer, in being a confident Muslim with my, you know, with our sister wearing their hijab and our brothers asking for time to pray their Jumu'ah that you become a person who is regimented that your sincerity with Allah pushes you towards seeking a higher purpose with Allah than simply relegating yourself to fear and censor from others in society. It is a proof of faith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ikhlas in our deeds, ikhlas in our words, but most importantly, ikhlas in our hearts. Because if you are sincere in your heart and you put Allah first, you will always be on top. If you put Allah first, even in the moments of your disadvantage, even in the moments of your difficulty, you will find that Allah will carry you through. And there were moments in my life, moments I'm sure that will be in your life if they have not already arrived, where you knew you had no one who assisted you but Allah. And because of your faith in your heart, you were able to attain and to pass through difficulties that you would have sunk in and drowned by. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us by our ikhlas and make it a proof of our faith. Allahumma ameen.